Hello, my name is Jim Zemlin. I'm the executive director of the Linux Foundation, and it's my pleasure to be here with you today, albeit virtually, at the Samsung Open Source Conference. I'm sorry I couldn't join you physically this week. It's always one of my favorite trip trips each year to travel to Korea to attend this event and to see all of my good friends from Samsung. It's been a very difficult year in 2020. In addition to the pandemic, I'm sitting here in my backyard in Napa, California, and the skies are gray and filled with smoke due to nearby wildfires. In fact, in California and on the West Coast of the United States, as you've seen in the news, we've had horrendous fires this year due to climate change. In 2020, I think it's important for all of us to remember that even though it may seem like we're further apart and it may seem like we're isolated, now is the time to come together to solve tough challenges. And open source represents a huge part of that. At the Linux Foundation, we've pivoted to virtual events in order to enable our communities in the Cloud Native Computing Foundation, the JavaScript world, and many more to come together online and share ideas. We hope to get to together again soon physically, but we'll see you virtually in, in all of our different events. We've expanded our mentoring program during this tough time so that people who've been affected with job loss can have new opportunities to join our communities and create new jobs. We've expanded our training scholarships, offering 500 scholarships for people to come and reskill using the latest open source technology so that they can find new careers and new opportunities. In the United States, our open mainframe project has helped out by training developers on COBOL. The unemployment systems in the United States were written decades ago in COBOL, which was the primary programming language of the day. And it turns out there's not a lot of COBOL developers left, uh, with the exception of my father, who is unfortunately retired. Uh, we're training new developers to help build those systems to scale to meet the pandemic requirements. In addition, we've seen a lot of global conflict around trade policy and other areas. And we've created clear statements about the free and open nature of open source in the midst of this trade conflict. I'd like to remind all of you that as a freely available public good, open source remains available to anyone and will remain available permanently to all and is not subject to the export administration regulations here in the United States uh, and is largely free from this conflict. Finally, the Linux Foundation has been helping directly with the pandemic with our Linux Foundation Public Health Initiative. This is a contact tracing effort that we're working on with different organizations around the world to help slow the spread of COVID-19. In addition to those important things that we're doing to help during the pandemic, the Linux Foundation also continues to see broad spread innovation. Much of that innovation at, uh, is where Samsung participates. Today, we have over 360 industry-leading projects across all major industry sectors, over 250,000 developers from 18,000 companies come together at the Linux Foundation to co-create solutions that run modern industry and society. This results in over 2 million lines of code added, over 1.6 million lines of code deleted, and 3.6 million lines of code modified every day. We kick off 215 million builds annually. We manage 110,000 email groups, convene 27,000 online comp meetings. We have 188,000 people in our Slack channels. We've held over 150 events with tens of thousands of attendees. We've managed tens of thousands of contribution agreements, hundreds of trademark registrations. 1.5 million people have enrolled in our online training. And just this week, we surpassed the 1 million mark for the number of people 
who have taken advantage of our free Linux training on the edX platform. Over 300 people a week earn a performance-based certification, whether it's Kubernetes certification, Linux certification, and more. In addition, our organization has issued over 1 billion TLS certificates. We're home to Let's Encrypt, which is the world's largest free certificate authority. We've found over 240,000 vulnerabilities in our uh, various projects. We've worked to identify fixes and recommended thousands more. We have over 3,300 projects that are enrolled in our Secure Coding Best Practices Program. And we do all of this with a very small team located all over the world. This year, we're seeing some important new trends in the adoption of open source. And that adoption largely centers around new vertical industries, many of which Samsung participates in, adopting open source at very large scale. The first one that I think is interesting and of note is the telecommunications industry. In telecommunications, we're seeing all the major uh, operators around the world representing 80% of the world's mobile subscribers, all using our open network automation platform to run their production networks. Here in the United States, companies like AT&T, Verizon, in China, China Mobile, in Europe, Orange, and many, many more are using this fundamental building block to build out and manage their 5G infrastructure. We're seeing the telecommunications and enterprise sector also adopt IoT and edge computing solutions. As we move towards a 5G world, edge computing has become an important part of what we are witnessing all over the world and creating new opportunities for innovative solutions at the edge of the network. Our uh, IoT and edge projects such as EdgeX Foundry and many more are being used in critical systems for amazing computing solutions. In the financial services sector, this year, the Finos organization, which is an organization of open source participants from the world's largest banks, whether it's Goldman Sachs or JP Morgan, or many, many more, who are using open source to work on their financial trading systems, both in the United States, Europe, and Asia. We're seeing growth in the film and entertainment sector. The Academy Software Foundation this year has seen amazing growth. This organization is a partnership with the uh, Motion Picture Academy, which is the home to the Oscars, uh, and also represents the world's largest film and gaming studios who are coming together and using open source to make their stories better. When you talk to these studios, what they'll tell you is that they're storytellers, they're not necessarily developers. And by collectively making the technology that they use to make digital effects, those uh, movies and stories are that much better. In the semiconductor industry, we're seeing additional activity through our open power and risk five efforts, through things like our confidential computing uh, consortium and many, many more. At the hardware level, we're really seeing a lot of new and open innovation, uh, and we hope that folks throughout the world will participate in this genuine sharing of ideas. Lastly, in embedded systems, whether it's the Yocto project, Zephyr, or many others, we're seeing huge adoption of these frameworks for creating some of the most interesting devices in the world. I want to make a quick note about how important Samsung is to our different open source projects. When I look across the various open source projects at the Linux Foundation, whether it's cloud computing or networking and telecommunications, the Linux kernel itself, or many more, often at the top or near the top of the list are Samsung employees who are working in open source to not only make those open source projects better, but to make Samsung's products and services better as well. And this is as it should be. Open source is a world where you can both better yourself, 
better your company and better everybody else at the same time. And during this troubled time, when we're all so distant from each other, it's important for you to all understand that whether it's creating a contact tracing solution or a touchless a solution for people to uh, transact and interact with each other, that open source is a fundamentally important part of that process. And I want to thank everybody at Samsung for being a part of this. It's truly disappointing that I couldn't see all of you again this year. I miss my friend uh, Daniel Park uh, and so many of you, uh, but I hope to see you again in person next year when it's safe for all of us to get together and travel. And I hope to also host all of you here in California when we don't have any uh, additional fires or natural disasters. Uh, California is a lovely place. And I look forward to seeing all of you again very, very soon. Thank you.